Hi, John Stemkowski here with a little message for you. To let you know that today's video of Encouraging Words is a repeat of last week. We're repeating it because we think it's exceptionally important. So if you happen to see it last week, feel free to pass right on by. If you didn't, I'd like you to see it. It talks about our 46th annual Grand Homecoming Celebration for Celebrant Singers coming up via the internet a week from today. So that's my word to you. If you've watched it already, have the rest of the day off. If you haven't, be sure to take a look at this very important video. God bless you. We all need an uplift during these challenging days, don't we? Well, the good news is we have something prepared for you, your family, and your friends. And this episode of Encouraging Words will tell you exactly how to participate in a very special event coming soon to a living room near you. To God be all glory, to Him be all praise. From the early dawn of morning to the end of the day. May the words of my mouth and every meditation. Hi, this is John Stemkowski and welcome to Encouraging Words. Today's episode is a little bit different as sort of the last weeks have been too. We've been focusing on the ministry that we had in Taiwan. The last three episodes unpacked that, and if perchance you happen to miss them, take some time. Go back and look at episode one, two, and three on what we called Operation Taiwan. In those videos, we shared the joy with you of many of the things that God did. But today, I want to talk to you about something entirely different. When we started this Encouraging Words video series in the spring of 2020, it was right at the beginning of COVID-19. Do you remember that? I guess it's making a visit back to us in many ways, but certainly not as it was then when everything seemed to close down and our traveling wings were clipped. And so in an effort to help people through that experience, we started this weekly video series to encourage them, hence the name Encouraging Words. And we found that there are a lot of ways to encourage people. Though we couldn't get in the bus and travel and go out and do weekends as we often did, and then in the summer a full tour, we realized that through the internet and through the video series, we could still reach into people's homes, into people's hearts with the gospel of Jesus Christ to encourage them and help them through. Well, we had no idea, none of us did, how long the COVID epidemic would last and how much it would impact our lives. So we just kept going. And today I want to talk to you about something that we've done annually for far longer than this. Actually, we've done it for 46 years. We have a special event coming up for you, for your family, for your friends that we believe is super encouraging. I mentioned that there are lots of ways to encourage people. All of these Encouraging Words episodes are designed for that. And one of the very best ones that we do every year is called Celebrant Singers Virtual Online Homecoming Celebration and Special Report. Let me explain to you what that means. For over 40 years, when we would travel the world and we'd come back from a place where we had seen God work, we would have a live homecoming concert in our home city of Visalia, California. A couple of days later, we'd have a live banquet. The concert was pure ministry, in an auditorium with lots of people, and there were no tickets, no charge for the concert. We just wanted to bless them and let them know that God cared about them. The banquet, on the other hand, was designed to fundraise, to raise funds for our next year, fiscal year of ministry starting in September, and it was very effective. And lots of people came to that, 500, 600. I suppose the largest one we had was 1,200 people. But they came with an objective to commit to pray for the ministry and to give of their offerings and pledges to help us go forward in the next year. Well, in 2020, COVID-19 closed that down, as you might remember. There were no large gatherings of people, and we couldn't do our homecoming concert or our banquet, so we decided to be creative and courageous enough to try to do it all online by means of Facebook and YouTube. And it went so well, and we realized something. We realized that 
the possible audience that could experience homecoming and the report that is attached to homecoming was far larger over the internet than it could have been in our 1,200 seat auditorium in Visalia or even in our 3,000 seat venue. Far more people, not only uh, in this city, but across this state, the country, and the entire world would have a chance to take a peek at all the things that God had done through the celebrants in the previous year. And also to look at the entire ministry and say, hmm, I think that needs to exist. I think that needs to happen. I think those people need our prayers and our support. So we kind of combine the idea of the old homecoming concert and the homecoming banquet into one. Put it all online and prepared it for you. And that's coming up real soon, real soon, on Friday, October 13th at 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. We will have our grand homecoming celebration via the Internet. And this episode today is to invite you to be with us, to invite you to be with us in all forms of participation in something that I believe will inspire you, inform you, and uplift you. During this inspiring homecoming celebration, there'll be a number of components. You'll enjoy some very uplifting music, some testimonies from many of our team members, and also some video footage, additional video footage that we've not yet shared from our special time of outreach in Taiwan that we call Operation Taiwan. Now, if you're a regular viewer of Encouraging Words, I was thinking about how perhaps you might watch the weekly episodes, and my guess is that you may watch them on your cell phone or perhaps on your computer. Now, the cell phone, of course, has a very small screen. The computer's a little bit better, but this particular program, which is about an hour in length, is worthy of something better, and I'd like to call you to upgrade this. This presentation that we're preparing for you really should be seen on the big screen, on your television set at home. And you might wonder, oh my golly, how do I do that? Well, you'd be talking to the wrong guy because I'm Mr. Low Tech. I, my children have said, Dad, you're making wonderful time down the information dirt road <laughs> versus the information highway. That's their little joke, but it's not too far from true. But here's the deal. In order to watch this presentation, Friday, October 13th, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific, live streamed via the Internet, YouTube, and Facebook, I would really like you to investigate how you can look at such a program on your home TV. Most TVs today are what are called smart TVs. I looked it up, and it says that 77% of American households own at least one smart TV. And that means that programs on YouTube can be viewed on your smart TV. So I would encourage you to do a little research before and figure out how you can do that because it'll be a far, far, far better experience for you to have. Can you imagine looking at your cell phone for an hour huddling around the computer? And in addition to that, we're attempting to put together what's called watch parties in every state in the United States and in many other countries. Now we recognize that time zones are different and for some of you in Hawaii, six o'clock p.m. Pacific is three in the afternoon. In New York or Florida, it's nine o'clock in the evening. That one works pretty well. For other parts of the world, it might not work so well, but if you're not able to catch it in the live stream, you will be able to catch it online following. We'll leave it up for several days or weeks so that you can catch it. But what I love about that idea is this. If we have a watch party in every state in the United States, Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, I could go through the whole list. I could name them all because I learned them in a little song years ago. But if we could have a watch party in every state, that would be an individual who invites people to your home, have some snacks and some drinks and such, and have an evening of it. Pop some popcorn, sit down. These images on this screen and the information shared 
will be a tremendous blessing to you. You could also do that at your church or with a Bible study group on Friday, October 13th. But these watch parties are important. And I mentioned this um, in our last video just briefly. And a young woman sent me an email and she said, I'll take Pennsylvania. So I know for sure there will be a watch party going on in Pennsylvania. But my question today is who will take Alabama and Alaska and Arizona and Arkansas and all the rest all the way through? I really, really would like to have a watch party for the Celebrant Singers Grand Homecoming Celebration, 46th Annual that is, not always by the internet, but 46th Annual Grand Homecoming Celebration and Special Report, and of course now via the internet, love to have a watch party in every single state and in some of the countries that are so near and dear to us. We've been in over 100 countries. As you know, Celebrant Singers is a going ministry. We love to go. We love to be out with the people, to walk into a building and sing and rejoice in the Lord, worship and pray with them, put our arm around them. There's no substitute for that for sure. But on this special occasion, on this special internet-based uh, live stream, we'll be able to share with you many of the joys of what the Lord did over the past year and specifically in Taiwan. One other really nice component of this sort of thing is the ability to communicate online in real time. For example, let's say that you choose to watch this event on Facebook. Well, you're able to make comments and we'll have a couple of people manning computers that can comment back to you. You can tell us what you think, what you feel. You can even make a pledge of your prayers and financial support online. I hope you will do that. Now, I'm told that on YouTube, you, one needs an account what's called a Google account. Now, I barely know how to spell Google, so I have to Google Google to find out how to spell it. But all kidding aside, apparently you have to have a Google account to make comments if you're watching it on YouTube. But on Facebook, since you're there, you already have an account and you can make comments. And I would love to have a lot of exchange through the concert. You know, that was a nice shot. I loved that song. Good to see you guys, whatever. And uh, prayer needs, I mean, there's all kinds of things, but I love that interaction capability uh, through this particular device. Now, in the big picture, I also really need to solicit your help. Let me explain that. We've got to get the word out, and we're a little bit behind. When we came back from Taiwan, we had a, a great many responsibilities that were had gone begging and they needed to be attended to, so we're a little behind the curve on getting the word out on this special event. But I would like to uh, enlist your help, please. May I do that? I'd like you to spread the word. Share this event and the date and the time and all of that with your family and friends. Put it on your social media um, and let people know that we can have the largest possible audience to see it. And then most specifically, what would bless my heart so very much is if you say, hmm, Friday, October 13th, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific, I could host a watch party in my home. If you live in mountain time, it'd be at 7 o'clock. If you live in central, it'd be at 8. If you live on the east coast, it'd be at 9. And bring some friends. Bring some friends to your home. How many would it be? Four, five, 10, 20? Don't know. But I do know that if you'll make that effort, we'll have a lot of eyes and a lot of hearts on the things we're about to share. And if it wasn't worth their while, I wouldn't ask you to do this. But I think it will be a tremendous blessing to them. So if you would, please spread the word about Celebrant Singers' virtual live stream homecoming celebration on Friday, October 13th, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific. And let's put as many people in our homes, in our fellowship, uh, to experience this event as we possibly can. Another thing I like about this very much is it brings the body of Christ together. I love bringing the body of Christ together to give glory to God. The whole 
purpose of this is to give glory to God. The Lord Jesus Christ, by his Spirit, has the capacity to do things through us, through a celebrant singer's team in a foreign setting, that is beyond our comprehension. The scriptures tell us that God is able to do beyond that which we ask or even think in our most amazing desires. He's able to do that beyond whatever we ask or even think. And I want you to see that. I want you to feel that. I want your friends to see it and feel it. And uh, to be exposed to things that give glory to God. Okay, so that's my best message, my best pitch that I can give you to make the homecoming celebration on Friday, October 13th, a huge success to bless people and to inform people and to inspire people about what it is to know Jesus, what it is to share Jesus in foreign environments. And then there will be a time during that presentation when I will ask you to make a commitment of your prayers and giving to the work of Celebrant Singers. Because remember, we used to do this in a live setting by means of a banquet, and there were tens of thousands of dollars that were raised to send us forth. We don't have that opportunity right now, but we do have an opportunity to do it together across these United States, Canada, even Puerto Rico, and certainly uh, out in the uh, islands of the sea and Europe, Middle East. We have friends everywhere, and I hope that we'll get the word out and um, let them know and have the best audience we can have on Friday, October 13th. Well, let's pray for the event, shall we? And then if you would be so kind as to think about if you could be a watch party host, I want to know about it. Why don't you send me an email and say, I'll take Arizona. I'll take Alaska. We already have Pennsylvania, and she's reaching out to others in Nebraska and other places to set up watch parties. Perhaps you could do the very same thing. But more than anything else, we would pray for God's anointing on this effort, that he would touch your heart and the hearts of all the people you gather together, that we could be motivated and blessed and inspired to continue to go where God's light is dim and his voice is heard small. Let's pray together toward that end, shall we? Father, we look to you today. We thank you and praise you for who you are. We thank you that we know you, that you've given us the privilege of knowing you in our hearts to be called your sons and daughters. And in so doing, you enlist us to reach others with the message of the gospel. I pray, Father, that you'll give us creativity you give us energy and courage to reach out and to bring people into this sphere of influence, that they can see what you have done on the foreign field, that you can explain to all of us in a deep way by the ministrations of your Spirit what our responsibility is in this weary and sin-sick world. We love you, Lord. And we want to be the most effective we possibly can in your hands. So guide this entire process. Place your hand and your anointing upon the celebrant's homecoming. We give it all to you and trust you for a good result. We thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Thanks so much for being with us. We've enjoyed, as always, being with you. And we love to hear from you. In fact, this week, I really want to hear from you. Let us know that you'll be with us for homecoming and let us know that you're going to host a watch party. We're going to make a list and we'll scroll them in the credits at the end of the Celebrant Singers Homecoming. All the watch parties in Alabama and Alaska and Arizona and Maine and Michigan, we'll scroll them in the list. So please let me know that. Send me an email this week and let me know you'll be with us. And uh, should these videos be of encouragement to you, Please take opportunity to share them with your family and friends, just as you're sharing the news of homecoming this week. And should you need prayer for anything, as always, let us know that too, would you? And we will pray for you. God bless you today. And I look forward to seeing you next week and the following week 
as we celebrate together 46 years of God's faithfulness through the Celebrant Singers Grand Homecoming Celebration. We love you with the love of the Lord. To God be all glory, to Him be all glory.